All right, so this is the reflection piece of um, this project for my second, um, my observation video too. And so um, I'm just gonna answer a few of the activity reflection questions that are listed. Um, so I chose this particular teacher because, um, well, for one, she was one of the only teachers available um, at this busy time of year during star testing. Um, and also she just, um, she's a really great teacher and she picks up on things very quickly. So, um, we just started this process of training teachers on backward design and learning targets. And I knew that she probably had a better grasp on this, um, than some of the other teachers I had to choose from. And I just really wanted to see it in action from her having, um, a better understanding of how everything, um, all kind of fits together. Uh, so the goals of the professional development were to train our teachers um, how to use the, the backward design planning process as a team. Um, and, you know, um, we went through the different stages of first, like identifying the desired results um, and then just kind of determining um, what the acceptable evidence is, how are we gonna know if they learned what we taught, um, and then for them to start planning learning activities um, and their instruction around that. Um, and we also really wanted the teachers to focus on um, writing learning targets based on the TEKS, um, just to focus them back on what specifically they are supposed to be teaching their students um, and, and not wasting any time teaching other things that um, their students aren't required to know and be able to do. Um, so I do think um, she did a really good job um, with her learning targets. She had her learning targets posted. Um, they were clearly visible for the student. She started the lesson off by talking about the um, learning target and had the students read the learning target. And then again, as she was pulling, pulling small groups to her table, um, she had those students um, state the learning target back to her so that they were very clear on um, what they were learning that day. Um, so the next steps for this professional development, really we're going to start the beginning of next year um, with another training on how to use backward design in the planning process and, and what you know, how to write learning targets. We have a lot of new staff that are joining us, so we want to make sure that they um, know what the expectations are. And um, also we're just implementing this so late in the year, we, we wanna make sure that we kind of hit it again until we really are very familiar with it and the teachers feel comfortable with it. Um, I hope to see that this professional development will impact student learning. Um, I hope that it gives teachers and students more time to work with the content and master the objectives. Um, and, and I hope to see um, an increase on um, scores of, you know, the beginning of, of year, middle of year and end of year assessments that we give our students um, just because they have been more laser focused on what they need to learn. Um, so I think this experience um, assisted me um, assisted my growth in uh, growing as an instructional leader um, by just being able to have that impact on student achievement. Um, so if you're in a leadership position, you do have the opportunity to um, make certain decisions, uh, like what professional development you want to provide for your staff. Um, you're able to see problems that are happening on the campus and um, try to think of a solution for those problems. Um, and you have, you know, everything in line with your vision and your mission of your school. Uh, so it was just a really cool experience just taking this project through the whole entire process. Um, if I had to do this again, I would probably start it earlier because I kind of ran out of time and every thing, every busy thing at the end of the year was all happening at once. So it was hard to fit everything in. Um, but I do think this experiment, this experience will influence my practice as a school administrator because um, this is what I would be doing if I were an assistant principal. I would be working with teachers, I would be coaching them through um, 
th this process, I would be in planning with them um, and probably their instructional coaches. Um, and so it's just been a really cool experience getting to do that um, before, you know, I actually am in that position. All right, thank you very much.